Yeah. Hot. Ah. I don't do well in the 80s. Just, yeah. I mean, oh wait, I already made that joke. I can't make that joke. Okay, so apparently Hurricane Irma, Eva, whatever it is, not me, is heading most likely towards Florida. This was just announced. So, I have, again, once again, for the second video in a row, I have no right to complain about the weather. That being said, oh my god. Uh, I've got the fan on full tilt, and I'm really, really missing that fan over there. Unfortunately, my parents nicked it from me, so... So, uh, I have no idea how... It, like, the, the microphone's on the top, so I have no idea if the, the sound is, is being covered up by the, the thing here or not, so... Anyways, yeah, welcome to video two of, what was it called, Bizarro Week? What, what did I call it in the previous video? I don't know. Um, anyways, this is the second box. Um, the third box is actually going to be coming out next week. So there's some refi refined dates and due dates or whatever it is in there. So I guess it's not going to be Bizarro Week, more like Bizarro Week and a Half, which sounds about right. Because, hey, it's bizarre. Why not? Um, these were two that, um, yes, two items, not one. These were two items that, uh, yeah, I wanted to get, but it wasn't high on the priority list. It wasn't, it wasn't, ah, need. To be fair, I haven't, ah, needed anything since, uh, can I get to it now? Since Magic King, over my right shoulder here. Actually, Bolzar, Trevelyan, St. Kaiser, Magic King, all of them. So, uh, I got the hiccups and I got heartburn. Not cool. Just adds to the fun of Bizarro Week, I suppose. Let's dig into it. That's a Japanese newspaper, because why not? Can't read a lick of it. But on the other hand, it is nice to see stuff like this once in a while. It reminds me that that country is not nearly as obsessed as I am over mecha and anime, so... Mechanime? Mechame? Okay. Not connected to me. And yes, the government in Pyongyang can go die in a fire. Slowly and painfully. Preferably. Notice I said the government, not the people. Not the commoners. They did not deserve this. Which way should I go first? Let's go this way first. I'd actually hawed and hummed about this one for quite a while. I should also point out, both of these came from eBay. From Japan. Well, I guess it would be obvious it came from Japan. Why do we need to say that? Because it very much came with Japanese newspaper. Where else would you get Japanese newspaper from <gasps> except from Japan? Bizarro week. Bizarro week and a half. Hooray! Yay! It's the only, uh... Oh gosh, I forgot what these are called now. Geki Beast. This is the only Geki Beast I ever wanted in addition to Geki Toja. Um, this guy. Now, quick refresher. I got this, what, two years ago? A year and a half ago at this point, something like that. Might have been two years ago at this point. Anyways, I got this about two years ago. And um, I got it mostly for the Super Saiyan coloring. Not because it's Super Saiyan, but because of the coloring. And I felt, yeah. Maybe it wasn't quite as bad as I was letting it on to be. And considering how many different versions of Gek uh, I have of Geki Toja in the uh, Jungle Pride Megazord I've got floating around my collection, you know, might as well just go back to a DX version. And if it's going to be so special that I actually, you know, sell off my original Jungle Pride Megazord, then, you know, it better be a special color coding. So there's my representation of Geki Ranger toys. Although, let's see. Where is it? Is it close by? It's over there. I'm not going to get it. The uh, I also have the uh, Geki Saber, which is the, the, the two the two blades that Geki Red was used to use. But uh, Geki Bat was the only one that I ever really wanted or needed. 
So, oh, previously opened. I guess I knew that already. Now, I also have uh, Bandai America's attempt at it, which was the Transforming Fury Megazord set, which was, was it nine or ten, um, what were they called? They weren't called Power Animals, they were called something else, I don't remember. Jungle Zords? Uh, I don't know what they were called. Anyways, this was okay. This has a lot of dust on it. Uh, it still had the push fire missiles. Pretty weak. It didn't matter how hard you pushed, they didn't come out very well. It was underpainted, and the only flexibility you had was this. So, you yeah, whatever. But, um, and this is just one representation of the whole thing that's sitting over here. Um, you couldn't move the wings quite the way you wanted to, the legs and the head and whatever. It was it was still darn good representation, as far as I could tell at the time, it was a darn good representation of the original Japanese version. For a moment there I thought it was Bandai Asia. Okay. It was a darn good representation. Underpainted, under uh under articulated, but still acceptable for a downgraded toy really didn't need the little handles and you know pull these off or flip these over and have extra drinks you didn't really need those kinds of things so you know this was this was acceptable and certainly more acceptable than what Bandai America makes you know since the Transforming Fury Megazord came out if only they'd released the Jungle Master Megazord in that same scale I would have gotten that as well so, and I, I still praise that thing. I mean, I've got it right there for quick and easy access, just in case. Quick and easy access, huh? Prove it. All right. Um, not so easy. Something quick. And just a refresher. You know, they were pretty much, pretty much the same size. This, I mean, again, underpainted, slight reduction in articulation, such as it was. Removal of electronics, no worries there. But what I loved about it is that it still transform the transformation process is near identical, and it actually fixed a couple of things that were you know wrong with the original Japanese versions. The original Japanese version, I'm getting way off topic, but that is usually what happens with my uh, unboxings. Anyways, the Japanese version did have a peg handle, and if you could only hold it like this, it was actually pegged here and pegged here. It, it, it was like this in the Japanese version. It, didn't, it wasn't an actual sword. So the U.S. version, the scaled-down U.S. version, fixed that problem. And the, this used to be a little... Um, it wasn't even a projectile that came out of here. It was just a little tongue that you... And that's it. It didn't even come out. So this is an actual... Oh, oh wow, that spring is weak. Oh, right, I didn't, I didn't push it in. So this is an actual missile which everybody in Japan wanted, by the way. Okay. So anyways, I still praise, I mean, to this day, this is 2017, this came out 2010-ish. This is still really good. I still like this. It removed the electronics, but I mean, it's not like the electronics were all that good to begin with, so whatever. And it doesn't have the glow, glowing fist, but it does have transparent fists. I still like this. And it also got rid of the annoyingly stupid fanny pack. But, um, if I was going to uh, get this, and this, I actually got this for market value. I got this, this was 25 something, I think, when it came out. It might have been 15 or 20, so tack on an extra 5 or 10, and no worries there. So, that turned out just fine. Let's dig into it, shall we? Wait, was this actually vacuum sealed? This is very strange packaging. I, I've never seen anything like this before. How on earth do you get this out of here? Okay. <laughs> It's so strange. Ordinarily, I save the wrapping, but in this case, I don't think it's worth it.
Yeah, I forgot. The ears can move on this. They move back and forth. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I was wondering why the little legs on it moved. I mean, it's just, it's just that tiny little bit. It makes no difference whatsoever. Oh, hello. This blade, uh, this particular blade is curved downwards a little bit. Might have been from its previous owner, whatever. Although if it did have a previous owner, it's in excellent condition because I can't see any, uh, there's no dust. Doesn't smell like smoke. Guess I ended up a good deal. These missiles that only used once or twice in the show and then they kind of forgot about them. Obviously, they use them in their debut, and that's kind of it. Now that I think about it, Geki Shark, or no. No, it wasn't Geki, uh, which one was it? The Kachiki Origami from uh, Shinkinger. They only used the missiles like once or twice ever, and then that was it. That was a stupid gimmick. These are small enough, I'm going to save the strange packaging. I want to say these are push to fire, not friction fire. Oh, I could be wrong. Oh, it's push to fire. Yeah, I wonder if these are the same. Are these the same size? Holy crap, if they were. Oh, they are almost the same size. I mean, downscaled, whatever, but they are almost the same size. That's pretty close. Like maybe uh, five sixth scale is what the transforming three Megazord did. I mean, it was an excellent size. It wasn't quite 12 inches in in Megazord mode, but I mean, it was scaled down and compact enough they could actually save some money. But it wasn't so scaled down that you lost significant detail, like some of the modern stuff, like that one, like that over there. <coughs> it's supposed to be like that. That for the bat. It's so strange me getting different versions of the same thing, of, of two different versions of the same thing, and, you know, not that I'm liking, but that, that I keep, that I actually go out of my way to actually collect them. It's strange from my perspective. Don't think I'll be needing these. Oh, I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong in the past. ABS and PVC. That's it. None of that, uh... What's that POM? P-O-M. None of that. Oh my gosh, does this actually have a functional mouth? Oh, it's so tiny if it is. If this has a mouth, of an opening mouth, I will be stunned. I think it does. Tiny little opening there. You know, maybe not. Hey, maybe if you looked at the instructions, Ava. It's been long enough since I saw uh, Geeky Ranger. I can't remember what the roll call was. So 180 degrees on each joint, although they don't seem to like folding backwards very much. They're capable of it, but they're not really meant for it. And then for whatever reason, the ears can move. That's so strange. Oh, it's probably because of the transformation, now that I think about it. Gee, maybe if I'd left out the instructions. Look at the, the, the little tiny legs. They're both PVC, whatever, but like, why do they move? The legs on a bat are actually much larger than that, but whatever. Wasn't this the first... First example of a bat in Super Sentai, I think? 
Because there was a gal bat that was planned, but they they never made any prototypes or anything like that. Oh, okay. The yeah, the ears go down for the transformation. Oh. Okay. Hmm. All right. Wasn't quite sure how because the the uh, Jungle Pride Megazord with bat power, which is the worst, one of the worst names I've ever heard in Power Rangers history. Uh, it doesn't have these little, these handles that uh, Geki Bat Toja, or is it Geki Toja Bat? I think it's Geki Bat Toja. It's been long enough I don't remember anymore. Uh, has these, but the the Transforming Fury Megazord didn't have these. So, just just checking. form. Head goes down, ears go down, legs get spread, yay. And that's all you do for transformation. To be fair, to be fair this isn't really meant to be a... This isn't really meant to be a... Um, an armor of some kind. It wasn't meant to be that. It's meant to be just a weapon and a and a mask. Yeah, they would have designed for that. Aha! They did indeed. So you actually do have to bend the uh, the wings forward a little, or you do have to flip. Um, you have to, this this wing is straight, this one is curved. So they intentionally built those joints in there so they would intentionally curve. What an interesting choice. That's an interesting choice. Better than frickin' cubes any day of the week, including Sundays. Although today is uh, today's Tuesday, so whatever. The day after Labor Day, by the way. These are supposed to be. Uh, I, I want to say the stunt suit had. Um, they had uh, the the wings. The actors' arms were the stunt stunt actors. Stuntmen's arms were not always out like this. You could actually pull the arms forward, and they, they kind of acted like uh, like oversized axes of some kind, or whatever you want to call those. Okay. Huh. There's a little pair of tabs where the neck is, not for decoration for when it's finally plugged in there, but rather because there's this bar that goes across the top just inside. And I suppose you could call it the collarbone, except it's not as low as the collarbone. Like, this would be the collarbone, so this is above the collarbone. There's a, a support structure in here, and it looks like you don't just snap this into the where the neck is, but you actually tab it in as well. Huh. Guaranteed not to go anywhere, I suppose. And by the way, the U.S. version, the deluxe Jungle Trade Megazord, they didn't get the, the deluxe size to... Um, Geeky beasts or whatever they were called. Oh, they were called spirit zords. That's what they were called. So this, the, the the jungle spirit zords, jungle beast zords maybe. Uh, none none of them. All, all they had, all that they released in the U.S. was the deluxe jungle pride and the deluxe jungle master megazord. Those are the only ones that the U.S. got. They never got any of the accessory zords. Now there's a slight, not amendment, but there's there's a slight. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There was, uh, it was like the Ultimate Jungle Pride Megazord, or Ultimate Ultimus Megazord, or whatever it was called, where they had the, uh, the chameleon and the, um, the lion that I showed you a little bit ago. That was exclusive to the Disney store. So, well, because, I mean, Jungle Pride was, or <laughs> Jungle Fury was made during the Disney era. So uh, there was a, a, a Disney Store exclusive version where you had um, the three lions. Three? No. 
tiger, cheetah, leopard. You had the three wildcats. I'm sorry, you had the three wildcats, and then you had, um, oh, God, what was it? The, the, the lion and the chameleon. So, And those, those were all the, the, the Japanese reissue that they brought over, and it was still the same thing. So, And here we have... can't decide whether it wants to have the head pointed up or down or maybe that's just me maybe it's designed to tilt a little bit oh god maybe it is wouldn't that be something if they put an oh so slight tilt in the in the in the mask that's cool so anyways here is Giki Batoja Yay me. I'm still not thrilled with the mecha system that Geeky Ranger employed because the transformations were incredibly simple. Um, Geeky Busso is notwithstanding, of course. But um, I like the idea of it. It gives it flight, gives it a glider appearance, which was nice. I was checking to see if the tabs from the, the Geeky Bat missiles, whatever they're called, if they would clear the backpack, or the, I'm sorry, the fanny pack. And yes, they do indeed. So you can keep the missiles attached. Again, Geeky Bat was one of those, if I have the opportunity, I'll get it, but I'm not, oh, I need to get one kind of things. So, like, it'll, it'll be displayed like this, so. If that was intentional to have the head tilt up and down like that, that is a great touch. If it was intentional, I, I can't tell. It's also possible that the special gold coating of the of the, the connection point might have something to say about that. So I, I, I don't know. Because I, I've never played with a Geki Bat until now. Never even seen it in person. I'm not going to bother with batteries. I think you can use your imagination. And they also designed it so that you cannot... They, they specifically wanted you to use this in a way that you would only have it spinning from the top. They specifically designed it so you cannot reach the button on the upper back to have the legs twirl around. They specifically want you to do it this way. You know, now that I think about it, I can investigate later if the, because uh, I remember, um, like with the uh, Geki Shark Toja, or Geki Elephant Toja, that the additional weight of armor and weapons, ex you know, widely mounted weapons, uh, would put a strain on the motor. This may or may not be lightweight enough that it's not a problem. But again, I can't remember. It's been long enough, I can't remember. Hmm. That's it. I'm done. My, my Geeky Ranger ca collection is complete. There's, there's, let me think. No, there's one other thing. Geeky Tonfa. The two, uh, the two gray colored baton weapon thingies. I still want those. Those, those were actually the like the only ones I really needed to get. So it was, it was the Geki Tonfa, Geki Saber, which turned out to be a bit of a dud, um, and then these two, and, and then uh, Geki Bat. Well, Geki Bat only if I like to Geki Toja and uh, uh, Geki. Uh, oh shoot, what was the other one? Geki Fire. I almost said Geki Master, but that would have been stupid. So it's Geki Fire. Oh wait, what am I saying? Geki Fire is also stupid. Moving on to the next one. This next one, uh, this other one, I I wanted to get this. I genuinely did, but I mean, th this is from it's another Super Sentai. It's a different Super Sentai. It's not Geki Ranger. It, it came from a show where. Initially, it looked good. The, the, the toy line looked good. It, it looked promising. And then over time, it just kind of, eh, usual plaques doing there. We have to conserve money as much as possible. Let's be as lazy as possible kind of thing. 
and ultimately I lost, like, I still wanted it, but it kind of got lost, or I lost track of it in, in what happened the rest of that year, and then by the time I remembered, oh yeah, I need to get one, uh, it was already too late. Uh, the poor folds in that box. Whoa. Not be able to do this like this. I injured my knee. Did a minor injury to my knee a number of weeks ago. I'm still feeling the effects of it. Might have to bend over like this for this. The Gamma Gamma Gun. Which one of many bizarre things that happened in Shirk and Sentai and Ninja. Hence, it's addition to Bizarro Week and a half. Battery might be dead. That doesn't surprise me, considering the uh, the battery on my own Shirk engine uh, burned out after only a week and a half in my position, and I bought it brand new, fresh from the store. Mint in sealed package, as they say. I'm hoping that uh, this doesn't trigger anything in here without electronics, or with electronics. If it does, well, you guys are just going to lose out, aren't you? Mm. It's been over a year now since I got the uh, Shuriken Gen and the, uh, gosh, was it called the Karakuri Hengen? Is that what it's called? The, the multi-purpose weapon. No regrets. Oh, and, and you, Fomaru. No regrets. That was enough for me. That was just enough. And what an opportunity to get my hands on this, then. There we go. Oh, yeah, batteries were removed. Okay, whatever. No big deal. Oh. Huh. Okay. This is our ninja shuriken, by the way. So, yeah. The magician of the group. They tried to pull Harry Potter a second time, and you know what? You cannot, you can't, you can all, you cannot surpass Magic Ranger when it comes to your homage, your Japanese Super Sentai homage to, to Harry Potter. You just, you can't do it twice, so, you know. This, however, will definitely need batteries. There we go. Oh, fits my hand. It's a little close along the bottom. It's a little tight in there. Not bad. Little tadpole thing on the top. What the hell is that? I mean, obviously it's the sight, but well, maybe if you open the instructions, you'll find out. First things first. Let's get batteries in here. Oh, great Falcon Summoner! We thank you for the sacrifice of your AAA batteries. Yep, they're still good. Or at least until 2024, which is what two years shorter than what I had in the uh, the Seiza blaster that I got not even five days ago. Key Ninja Shuriken, we thank you for the sacrifice of your LR44s. It's strange, I thought the Gamma Gamma Gun was molded in yellow and then painted blue. I didn't realize it was painted in gold. And I'd like to point out the Key Ninja Shuriken did come, or all of the, the, the 
uh, ninshurikens come with batteries, so, you know, obviously this was used at a previous time. It was treated very kindly, from what I can tell. So, no more, no more noise shall I make on my videos for the time being, for the foreseeable future. Uh, I might have to hit the reset button. Oh well. Oh, you poor baby. You might actually have to do some maintenance on these toys. Heaven forbid. I mean, it's not like all the dust in your collection has been causing you to cough almost un non-stop for the last two months. You know, no way it could be that. How's this going again? Okay. Oh, Ninja Shuriken. I believe that means it's working. Where's the speaker? I don't remember. Oh, ninja! Oh, ninja! Shuriken! Dragon. That's it. Hold it down and nothing happens. Wait, let me compare this. Oh wait, I can't because I took the batteries out. <sighs> okay, regardless, that's what it does. Now for the uh, main event. And the speaker is actually underneath, right there. Frog for a gun. What? Does this have any? I don't think it has any lights in it. River, river, river. Is it speaker? holding it down to. Yeah, I didn't think this had any lights in it. It's just, it's just tight enough in here that I actually kind of want to stick my finger on here. But uh, it's not the first time it's been close but no cigar. You know, I wonder if the hold down the button thing is related to the uh, uh, the, little, the little sensor thing that they do when you uh, or in the in the show these act as monster detectors when the rangers are you know off duty and doing whatever, and so they they just have them sitting over here in a corner, and then when a monster appears. All, all the all the, the gamma gamma guns will start bouncing up and down at the same time. They're like, care, 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 care. It's it's ridiculous, but it's funny as hell. Another reason to get this. Guess that's all you can do. One of their obvious buttons. That's all it does in this mode. All right. It's kind of funny. What what is this thing on the back? What is this? Is that supposed to be like a tadpole's tail or something? I mean, obviously it's the sighting, but like, what's it supposed to be? It's made of PVC, so whatever. But like, what the hell is that? Special attack, engage. Like, you would expect a frog to be, like, a sword, a rapier, you know. Uh, you know, in the case of Q-Ranger, a number of years, like, three years later in, uh, in Q-Ranger, you, uh, you had a chameleon with a tongue, the mecha, the, the chameleon voyager. 
the tongue was a was a was a spear weapon or was a wrapping weapon. So okay, fair enough. But then this is just what the hell are they thinking? <laughs> How do I take it off? I take it off by doing that. This is their standard sidearm. It has a power-up built into it. Not that that hasn't been done before, of course, although usually it didn't come with an associated, uh... Which way does this go? You pull or push? Ah... Uh, I forced it. No... Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, you squeeze both these at the same time. Wow, maybe if you looked at the instructions. So then what? triggers aha okay the secret is un uh, revealed I suppose I'm expecting a little more of the, the multi-function weapons. I mean, this is this is multi-gimmick weapon. I guess I was expecting a multi-function weapon, but then again, I have to remind myself they had the... What was it? The the the, the ninja swords, or the, the, the katana that they had. I can't remember what they were called. So it was that, which was their henshin device. Doubled as their henshin device, their summoning device, their combining device. It's, it, it, it did everything. And then this is just a gun. Okay. Now my Ninja collection is complete. I don't see any 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 reason to get anything else other than this Ufomaru and Shuriken Jin. That was kind of it. Uh, still don't want any of the other accessories. I still don't want uh, Bison King. I still don't want Lion Ha O. Uh, I still don't want Gekiatsu Dio. And I can't think of any of the other weapons they used, so... I can't even remember what their... Did they have a power-up? You know, Red Ranger, did he get a power-up? I don't even remember anymore. Not that I should be able to remember it, because... Well, I mean, I didn't... I didn't watch that much of it. I only saw 12 episodes, and then I gave up on it, so... Pretty annoying show. No, I saw more than 12. I might have seen 20, because I saw, um... Uh... Oh, what was the gold one called? I can't think of his name. The gold, the golden ninja. I only saw so far, like, he started pissing me off. So, or... Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I almost forgot. Speaking of forgetting, uh, it turns out, um, you, know, you know, I haven't commented uh, that when I made my unboxing for this, Power Rangers Ninja Steel had not come out yet. Um, I gotta say, for a selection of henching device or morpher, this was not a bad choice at all. Now, how the toy works in the U.S. is debatable, but it was not a bad decision at all. I, I actually support the idea of having this be the morpher. It would have been kind of neat if Japan had followed through with that instead of the, the sword thing. Whatever. I'm not just going to remember how this works. Oh god, I forgot how this works.
Uh, how does this work? Anyways, what I was going to say is, as an update for this, not just in how it's used, but what I didn't know at the time because I couldn't read the instructions is that I had this thing plugged in the entire time I did the, the, the unboxing. It didn't occur to me at the time, or it didn't occur to me until after the fact, that maybe the sound effects would change if this wasn't plugged into this. Didn't even occur to me. So anyways, with that out of the way, uh... He is the longbow, right? Or did he use the claw? I don't remember now. I think I think uh, I think Alan Ninja used the the, the longbow. All right. Still no regrets of getting about getting this. I think I said that already. The Karkari Hengen. This thing's cool. I still like this. Bizarre week. Video two finished. This is David Unit 4A saying thanks for tuning in.